I'm the reporter newspaper online.com. Let me say that again. AkronHipHop.com. For some reason, it'd be uh, getting cut off at the beginning of this thing. As you can see, we got the God in the building. Rasul the God of Lies in the building. Ra. What's that? How you been doing, bro? Hey, man, I'm blessed, bro. Everything is everything. We are uh, just making moves and taking life one day at a time and keeping it connected with a lot of positive people. Like, so. Well, that's great, man. I'm going to need you to speak up a little bit. I've well, been having big guys talking I've been real tiny chilling, lately. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What the hell is going on with my big alpha men sounding like Toto? We don't want to put the cables on them all the time, man. Sometimes peace is the way, of, way, the, way to be, man. I'm yeah, picking that animal, right. The the animal walk. right next to me. Mm -hmm. I was just, just picking with him on it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's it. You know why you're here? No doubt. No doubt. Let me ask you a question, man. <clears throat> If I'm a Christian or a Muslim, mm -hmm. and I'm not on my dean, I'm not doing what I should be doing under the faith, under the cloth, okay? All right. That, am I still allowed to claim Christendom? Am I still allowed to say I'm a Muslim? What is your belief on that, brother? What's your thoughts on that? Well, uh, we can get into a lot of different, a lot of different points of views on that. Um, the concept of religion in itself can be a topic of another discussion. But if you ascribe to a religion and you ascribe to a faith, each faith has a set of guidelines. Uh, as far as drinking and smoking and things of that, in whether it be Islam or Christianity, both have strong advisements as to keeping yourself in the best of uh, best of being, in the best of nature, not to uh, put yourself in harm's way or intentionally do things that are destructive. Both of them, pretty much in some aspect, would refer to them as a form of default or sin. If you're not looking at it from a religious aspect, even from Dealing with the use of intoxicants, use of elements, uh, alcohol, the effects that it has, uh, the chemical reaction in the brain, uh, the effect it has on the liver, the effect that smoking has on the lungs, uh, as well as your endurance and stamina. Eventually what you're doing is you're consciously accepting the consequences of embracing those actions, which are more detriment than positive. So as far as the base question of would you still be one? It's not for me to say. I would say that you would be one who is not in right example. Okay. That's, if these are the rules, you're not following the rules. That's as far as my judgment goes on it because I think we could say, well, who gave you the title of Christian? Or who gave you the title of Muslim? And there's two different answers for both of those. But, that all depends on your question. So it's not for me to take that and strip that off of you or take that title off of you. All I can say is, is that you were found not doing your duty. Okay, let me ask you a question. If you worked for Burger King mm -hmm. um, back when you were 16, okay, and I remember you as the burger boy. I was a drive through guy. Okay, the drive through guy <laughs> slinging burgers, right? Okay. And I see you as a grown man with family and everything and still call you Burger Boy. You would no doubt say, yeah, I see why you call me that, but I'm no longer employed for Burger King. Okay. Okay. You can sit there and yell from the mountaintop and flip the script and say, yes, I am still the Burger Boy who works at Burger King. Does it make it so, even though you don't work there? Okay. Does it make it so? A job or an advancement from one job to the next, that's an evolution, hopefully. I mean, uh, I mean, if, you, if, if I say you work at Burger King and you don't, no matter what you say, is that means you work? Can you can you will it into existence by uttering, "I'm a Burger King worker, no, no. burger flipper"? No, that's uh, that's a job, and I see where you're going with that. You have to be doing it. I see where you're going. You have to be with the suit, right? Or should I say the cloth? Okay. You understand? You have now, to be wearing now, the grease. Now I'm 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 gonna take that and, and I'm gonna go one more with you. Mm -hmm. Burger King paid you, right? Yeah. Or you know, if you're working that job, they're paying you, right? Right. Okay. Well. Some people take in religion, whether they want to call it this or not, 
for some form of payment. They receive some kind of supplication. They receive some kind of benefit, whether it's an uplifting of their spirit or their emotional center, however many people look at it. Uh, some people go to church for the music and the dancing and the screaming and the shouting. Some people go to uh, to mosque for the brotherhood and the fellowship and, and to be seen amongst good standing individuals. So based on that person's measure of receipt, Who's to say that they're not still be receiving that? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't upset with that because you are. Because mm -hmm. uh, I was taught if you do a thing, God said he will do a thing for you. So I'm expecting for that thing to get done. I'm not even being a hypocrite about Indeed. it. If I do, if I pay my poor rate, I should get blessings poured upon me. It is what it is. Um, but I'm saying, however, mm -hmm. I am no longer the burger boy, and I can't will it into an existence by saying I'm the burger boy. <laughs> so I'm saying, you can't just say God know your heart, and you a Christian, and you ain't doing a goddamn thing to what a Christian, sh a Christian should be doing. You're not a Christian, B. That's just how I look at it. You are ex excommunicated from the burger plane. You use the E word. And you excommunicated <laughs> from the Christian plane. I just look at it like that. You can't say what you is and do whatever the hell you want to do. That's somebody selling wolf dick. <laughs> now, now, now to go to go deeper into that, the uh, the closest religious ideology that I ascribe to would be that of the teachers of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? And what he said is that man's true nature is that of a Muslim. And the person says, "Well, what is a Muslim?" Muslim is someone that submits to the will of Allah. Would a Christian or a Jew or whatever be seen as that for based upon those teachings? If they submit to the will of Allah, then yeah. And you say, what is the will of Allah? Well, Allah in Arabic means God. And from a scientific aspect, God means the uh, full embodiment of all things in existence. So... If you are submitting or giving yourself to improving yourself, whether that be in the best health, the best uh, mindset, the best energy, the best behavior that you can be on as a human being, then you are submitting yourself to the will of God. Whether you see God in a, in a uh, theological point or in a scientific and physical point. Well, so. you, well you know, our Christian brothers, I'm talking about those Mm -hmm. um, you know, real Christian black brothers, you know, the hog mall, Reverend Chitlin, those brothers, uh -huh. okay, they don't think like that, okay? Well, I'm not a Christian, not. so I, I I wouldn't expect them to. Okay, God, you gotta, <laughs> somebody got to speak for them since it's two brothers sitting up here talking. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, so Reverend hog mall, with all due respect, mm -hmm. he will have your neck for that statement alone, okay? But Reverend hog mall ain't here. Straight up. It's Brother Bean Pot here. <laughs> Rob, tell to everybody what you do and what's, what can we look forward for you, bro. Hey, yo, we are, I'm up, up here right now. I'm in doing my Mecca Minute with my man Hiram my King. Y'all can catch me at uh, Conscious Village Radio. Conscious uh, Village or Conscious Village? Conscious Village Radio. You download it as the, I have a radio station. You download it as the Conville app. Go to Google Play. Uh, 24 hour stream of music. We're getting uh, everything on here. Your hot new hip hop, hot new interviews, podcasts, uh, interviews, videos, the whole nine. Uh, you got the app on you right now? I got the app on my phone. Yes, yeah, bring sir. it out. You know, I got a Zoom. Ain't no need not to. I mean, well, you know, we might as well sell it since we're here. We let them know since we're here. Yeah, we're here, baby. Man, you know, I'm really about to bang. There it is. Probably got a commercial popping up real quick right now. That's okay. Popping up to you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, always with some, some well, every, time, every time you upload, yeah, we'll monetize. But uh, pretty soon we'll have uh, for us our special VIP subscribers ad free. You know. So ain't nothing wrong with the ad. That means you're getting some money. It did. I mean, you know, you, you got to take care of business out here. So it is what it is. And that's what it is, and this is the um, the station right here. This is going. You know, so can you can you respond with the playlist or what is the playlist? Automatic, Mr. Nas, no matter what. Ti, General Patton off the Big Boys album. Got the high tech, got the game up in there. 
you know. So that's dope. So that's the radio oh, station. Thanks. How can you get with it again? Go into uh, Google Play. Uh huh. Type uh, Conville, C O N V I L L E. Automatic radio app gets you plugged in to Akron's own internet radio station on the up and coming. We need all the support. We love all the support. And this is for y'all. So holler at your boy, Big Ra. Check me out on Facebook, Ra Kadir Facebook. Uh, Consciousville on the book. Get it by Man Tank 2 0. Don't forget to check out our shows, Truth Be Told Radio, every Saturday at 8 o'clock, going live on your book. All right, man. Have some fun and get something done. Peace. Peace.